most people think that a fatty liver comes mainly from drinking too much alcohol. But there's a much more common disorder called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And alcohol is just one of the many causes of a fatty liver. But when we talk about nutritional deficiencies, there is one common nutrient that is nearly always deficient when you have a fatty liver. In fact, if you don't consume enough of this nutrient from your food, you will develop a fatty liver. And that nutrient is called choline, okay? Now, choline isn't technically a vitamin, but it is an essential nutrient. It lives in the family of the B vitamins because it works with certain B vitamins like B12 and folic acid. But one of its main purposes is to remove fat from your liver. And if you don't have enough choline, you will not be able to get rid of fat from your liver. Choline is also involved in brain chemistry and muscle chemistry and cell membranes. And the deficiency of choline is actually pretty common. There's even a genetic defect that is also very common with choline, it's called polymorphism. It's a common genetic problem that a lot of people have and normal amounts of choline don't seem to fix a choline deficiency and you need to take more choline to create the effect. And there's some other very interesting reasons why you may be deficient in choline that relate to a fatty liver. Now, if we actually go beyond some of the typical reasons why people develop a fatty liver, you know, drinking alcohol, consuming carbs, taking corticosteroids, Tylenol, certain medications, solvents, petroleum products, viruses, consuming too many seed oils, which are high in omega-6, which create inflammation, or of course, the fructose or high fructose corn syrup. Then we get to these four things that cause a fatty liver, anorexia nervosa, gastric bypass, parenteral nutrition, that is nutrition fed from an IV, and antibiotics. Now, why would someone with these situations have a fatty liver? Well, with anorexia, you get severe malnutrition. So not only do you develop a choline deficiency, you also create a deficiency of vitamin D, folic acid, B12, and B3. These deficiencies also cause a fatty liver. So malnutrition causes damage to your liver, which then leads to a fatty liver. Gastric bypass, you're moving part of the stomach as well as part of the small intestine that allows you to absorb these nutrients, okay? So you actually create nutritional deficiencies when you get a gastric bypass operation. Now, what about parenteral nutrition? Well, they only put certain nutrients in this IV, mainly synthetic, but they don't put all the vitamins that you would need to protect your liver. I mean, there's a lot of data on this. It also could be the amount of dextrose, which is a synthetic sugar that's in here that's gonna create a fatty liver. But if you take that too long, you will end up with a fatty liver. Now, what about antibiotics? What's the relationship between that and choline? Well, guess what? Your microbes in your gut make some of the choline. And if you destroy the microbes, you're gonna be deficient. So now the next question is, what foods are high in choline? Well, it's the foods that you may think cause a fatty liver. Egg yolks, liver, beef, chicken, as well as cruciferous vegetables, fatty salmon, almonds, which have a smaller amount. And just so you know, a high fat diet doesn't cause fat on your liver. And if you see a study that will say that it does, read the study and you're gonna find out the mice experiments that they did within that study were not just on a high fat diet. They were on a high fat diet with a high carbohydrate diet. So that is just a side note. So whether you have a fatty liver caused by any of these right here, alcohol, or carbohydrates or sugar, I would highly recommend to start taking choline or start consuming the foods high in choline. If you're gonna take it as a supplement, I would recommend taking about three grams a day. That will speed up the removal of fat from your liver dramatically. However, if you also add the ketogenic diet, you can remove up to 50% of your fat within 14 days. And if you haven't seen my video on that, I put it up right here, check it out.